how you doing Sagittarius welcome back to the channel I hope all is well let's get into your reading all right let's start off with some Oracle messages from the Oracle of the Radiant Sun Oracle deck all right what does Sagittarius need to know goodness gracious innovation okay vision criticism and publicity <laughs> all right so i don't know if you in a public eye or popular or what what's going on you got eyes on you it could involve an aquarius a pisces a virgo another sagittarius a leo but you're gaining a lot of attention. Some people like you. Some people just don't. You're going to be judged for something. Why does this person like Sagittarius? Or why does this person Sagittarius does that? You know, is people are going to have their eyes on you trying to critique you. Some it will be constructive criticism. Others will be just flat out out of jealousy. But let's uh, get into this reading with innovation here you could be doing something new bringing something new to the table a community somebody's community some atmosphere where people will it'll draw attention to people and uh i'm telling you right now you're not gonna like everything you hear or everything you see but don't sweat it so let's see what's going on with felicity with uh jupiter and leo Jupiter and Leo blowing, one, blowing one's own trumpet, the attraction of some type of fame or attention, taking a leading role in a local activity, a prominent member of a church or similar organization. So you're stepping up in some type of leadership role and it's going to rub people the wrong way for some. Because Leo is linked with children. When this card is drawn in a reading, it, it, it could indicate the encouragement of a child in a creative expression. Sorry, in a creative expression of their talents. This can manifest negatively as a um, over pushy mother of a child star living out her fantasies of fame through her protege. Positively, it can refer to a nurturing or supportive parent. People are going to want to use you for clout. They may want to like take advantage of something that you're offering because a lot of people know about it or a lot of eyes are on you. You'll have people that want to work with you to support you, but you'll have also people that want to use you and exploit you for some reason. And um, if they can't do that, I think this is where the criticism is coming from and other criticism can just come from jealousy. Uh, the more I look at this card, the less I feel like it's constructive criticism. Let's see. Mars and Virgo. Wow. Okay. A cooperative research project, a position of responsibility in a large organization, a personal assistance to an important person. So you may find yourself getting some type of help, accepting some type of constructive criticism. But I feel like it's going to be the negative criticism that you acclimate into seeking resources and get the constructive criticism from whoever's like helping you shift the narrative or turn something around in your favor okay yeah um i got aries sagittarius leo virgo scorpio uh, uh, aquarius and pisces energy here you could be intuitive or, or get some type of guidance from someone that's intuitive. But this new beginning will ruffle some feathers, but it'll make you very successful. Keep your head up and try not to give too much attention to naysayers. Hey, it, it, some type of success that you're getting, it just comes with the territory. So what you going to do? All righty. Let's get into some Kipper messages. Some messages from the Kipper deck. What does Sagittarius placements need to know right now from the Kipper deck? I heard love, but let's see. I heard move, but let's, 
let's see, one card that came out. Let me at least get two or three more, and three more came out. So what flipped over is adjudication, journey, toil and labor, work. You're getting some type of positive judgment or positive news as it pertains to work and you moving on. This could be moving for work. Something in regards to work and judgment goes in your favor. Someone is taken up for you in a circumstance and after this circumstance is rectified, you move away for work or on to something better. And it looks like you'll be busy with toil and labor. It won't be a particularly hard position, but it won't be an easy one either. It's kind of like in the center. You'll be busy and preoccupied though. And you're moving away from something, a job or environment. Yep, courthouse is here. This could have something to do with the legalities, but it goes in your favor. It could be regarding work or it could be some type of judgment going in your favor where you get to move on to a higher position, a, a, a new beginning with child at the bottom of the deck. You got coffin at the bottom of the deck too. Something is ending and something else is beginning with occupation. Whatever this occupation or this job consists of, you don't see it coming yet. So this can be like all of a sudden and it works out for you. And it opens up a doorway for a new beginning. Aquarius, Capricorn, Gemini, Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio is here. As well as Taurus. Let's pull a tarot spread for you. Let's see. Those cards almost fell. Alrighty. Cutting the deck. I'm using the vice versa tarot. So, general messages for Sagittarius. <laughs> Alrighty. So, someone is observing you. You have the tower here, the eight of wands, the back of the empress, the shadow side of the two of cups, and the back of the king of wands. Someone is second guessing their choices they're wondering if some type of debt or some type of discrepancy has been settled or not they're wondering if they did the right thing in a situation that could involve you a scorpio a taurus a libra a leo or a pisces mm, there's some type of disgruntled like if there's some type of issue in karmic deal in some type of relationship it could just be in life though it doesn't a relationship could be part of it but not the whole thing and something is catching up with someone really fast you might not have saw the full extent of someone's ways or feelings towards you but the divine did and you got out of a situation unscathed right in the nick of time because something could affect you very bad and someone is left alone to deal with their choices by themselves. And you're not there to share their karma, which is good, which is really good. And someone is faced that they're forced to, to face themselves and sit with themselves and think a lot. You're being watched. This person um feels like you've changed a lot with this skull behind the back of the Empress throne. You've changed a lot. And it's like, damn, I, I didn't see. Sagittarius changing like this. What the hell? Like, what is what is going on here? How did I not see this? What does uh, Sagittarius need to know about this spread? What does Sagittarius persons need to know about this energy here? What do they need to know? Detachment. Ooh, we at the bottom of the deck. Drama. This could involve a Leo, uh, uh, Aquarius. A Libra or a Taurus but this is somebody that you have detached from they could have very well detached from you first and they are regretting that shit heavy because whatever they are whatever whoever they're involved in whatever they're involved in right now is not working out for them uh, Venus and Aquarius let's go Okay, 
Venus and Aquarius for detachment, a sudden love affair with a friend, an unusual free love relationship, an unusual or odd relationship, a couple living separate lives and an agreement between lovers. When this card is drawn in a reading, it may indicate detached feelings with regard to one's relationship. Negatively, it could mean that there is no means of making contact. Yeah, you over this. Whatever they stuck with, they're stuck with. They asked for it. And it's like, okay, you know what I'm really getting? Some You could have been someone's main person and got demoted to somebody on the side. And now it seems like this person regrets demoting you because they want to make you the main and demote this person to the side piece and or, or just discard them all together. And they have options. They don't have an option to do either. So, I don't know. This person's intentions is still, like, shitty. They, they don't have the best intentions. They're still thinking about themselves. If they got with someone else besides this person that I'm picking up on, everything would still be about them. So they don't care. Let's pull some money messages. Wings. You can have some type of financial issues that you're rising above with a... Uh, uh, yeah, rising above money issues. Your business could be taken off. You could be getting some type of profit for your spiritual work or something that you have a gift or call to do with life purpose and mission here. You could be being compensated for some type of mission you did or something like that. You could be moving for work, enjoying your job all of a sudden or enjoying a new job. Yeah, you could be starting over. You could be in healthcare or going into the healthcare industry, some type of new opportunity. Some of you guys could be getting some type of payout for some type of insurance claim or something. But you have enough money to save up and uh, upgrade your lifestyle in some way. Good job. What about the person on your mind? How do they feel about you? One more shuffle. What about the person on Sagittarius's mind? How do they feel about them? They feel like you're getting away or you've gotten away with journey here and lovers they they care for you but they feel like you're with someone else i, I kind of get an energy of this person not really knowing what the hell to think like they don't know if you're single or playing hard to get or just don't want to have nothing to do with them yeah someone thinks you're in a relationship and you're just not saying anything they feel like you might have got with some type of suit and tie type of girl or type of guy you know somebody that's very sophisticated mature stable Someone thinks they know what your type is, and it's not them. And I also get the energy of this person feeling like you probably moved on to somebody that's better than them. They don't feel like there's much of a chance here. This could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, a Leo, a Aries, a Virgo. Yeah. Uh, what is the potential outcome of this connection with this person and Sagittarius? I'm using Oracle messages from the Island Time Wellness Oracle deck. You have Cupid's arrow in reverse. They know you ain't coming back because Cupid's arrow talks about half faith love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting hesitation in reverse. This person feels in their hearts they want you to come around, come back around, but this person's brain is is telling them, this Sagittarius ain't about to fuck with you no more. They ain't not, they have faith for what? They not coming back. Yep, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used in able boundaries. It's kind of like fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And it seems like this person feels exposed when it comes to you. They feel like you can see straight through them, and that's how that that's how they don't see a chance in hell of you spending the block for them or, or reconciling with them. They feel like you know too much about them. You know something. All right, anybody new coming towards Sagittarius? Anybody new coming towards Sagittarius? Yes, actually, this could be another Sagittarius, a Scorpio, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
They can have these placements in their chart, but when they see you, they could already have an idea of who you are. But for the rest of you, when they see you, they're going to be quite sure they want to pursue you. This person is a really good communicator. They're a hard worker. They're successful. They may not waste any time with the Eight of Wands and put their intentions on, put everything on the table right then and there. This is somebody that could be looking for something serious or with judgment here, they know exactly what they want. Are they a little intimidated? Yes, with the Five of Cups here, they're not sure if you will reject them or not, but they're still going for it. Whoever this is, they're still going for it. Uh, others of you with this reconciliation card, I'm telling you, it's going to be hard for somebody from your past to get over you. You may have some exes or some people from your past that is just, is they're, they're struggling to let you go. So can I get some oracle messages from whoever this energy is that's struggling to let Sagittarius go? Coffee cup. They just want to be friends. They would like for you to unblock them is what I'm hearing. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. Someone's hoping to run into you somewhere and they're going to try to get as much time with you as they possibly can in that moment. Possibly try to like reconnect or restart something. What about this new energy? Two cards came out. Wow. This person may know of you already because you got camera. They could have pictures of you or take screenshots of pictures on social media. But it says reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. So they look at you, this new person looks at you as a second chance. You might have remind them of a person that they were in love with or in a relationship with from their past. Or you could be that type of person or caliber of a man or a woman that reminds them of what they could have had with somebody else had they been ready for it and this is their second chance this is their redemption don't mess it up type of thing because you got butterfly here relationship evolve into the next phase healing the inner child growth this person will be ready for you because they might have fumbled somebody that had your qualities you know in the past and they know kind of like what type of caliber of a person they're looking for and they see those qualities because they might have had someone with those qualities in the past and they just did some stupid shit and messed it up. Because they're going to know they're serious about you. All righty. You got excitement and control here. Your last messages talks about Jupiter and Capricorn with control something is going up when it comes to your career especially if you have like something going on online and you have mercury and gemini for excitement more social media stuff uh this could involve uh you being involved in some type of gossip or people talking about you a lot but it's going to be good stuff and it's going to be bad stuff but either way the the energy it, it helps you it helps draw attention to something so keep your head up don't fade. Don't let this shit phase you. It is what it is. I love you. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. And have a good day, Sagittarius. Bye.